Hello. In this presentation, I will talk about flat versus smooth shading. So I've already pre-written a bunch of stuff on the board for you. First of all, this is in materials in section 1.4, especially 1.4.3 for flat shading in the PDF online. And I've already written on the board for you a copy of a vertex shader and a fragment shader, very simple, that, uh, that render triangles with colors on the vertices. So the vertex shader has an input, which is the vertex position, and a second input, which is a vertex color. They're both VEC3s. The vert position is XYZ values. The VEC3 is, uh, for vert color, is an RGB value, red, green, blue values. The vertex shader runs on each vertex. All it does is pass through the position. We assume that the position is already in the right range to work well with the fragment shader and pass through the color without changing it. This is done by declaring a variable to be an out vec3 vert color, or the color. The out means it's an output variable, vec3 means it's a vector of length 3, the color is the name of the variable. And all we do is take the input vertex attribute color, the vert color, and output it as the color. The corresponding fragment shader has a corresponding input variable in vec3 the color. When the shader program is compiled, it sees the out vec3 declaration of the vertex shader and the in vec3 declaration of the fragment shader, and it knows those are the same variable. And all that the fragment shader does is output the color as the color of the pixel on the, sc on the screen. Since the fragment shader is run separately for each pixel, this gives the possibility of giving each pixel its own color based on some computation. But here we just pass it through. The default mode in OpenGL is so-called smooth shading. So the default mode is smooth shading. And so what this means is we average colors across the triangles from the vertices. And this is the way we discussed in the previous presentation as well. Here I've drawn two triangles with vertices V0, V1, V2, and V3. And we're thinking of doing GL triangle strip rendering. Uh, using V0, then V1, then V2, then V3. And what the smooth shading does is, of course, this forms first the triangle V0, V1, V2, and then the triangle V1, V2, V3. What the smooth shading does is it takes the colors on the vertices as output by the vertex shader. And when the fragment shader, which fragment shader runs on some pixel, it may run on a pixel here, it could run on a pixel here, it could run on this corner pixel, and so forth. When it receives the in color, the input color is an average of the colors on the triangle. So this pixel here on the left-hand edge, it's all the way to the left, so this gives is given the this color is the average of the color on V1 and V0, which is blue. So when the fragment shaders run on this pixel, it'll get the color blue. Uh, that's our GB values of 0, 0, 1 for the variable V color. When it's run on the a pixel over here, V2, or on the second triangle, a pixel along here, the color that's passed to the fragment shader will be the average of the colors on the adjacent vertices of the triangle. On the other hand, when it's run in the middle, and I don't unfortunately have a magenta marker, so I'll just use black here. When it's run on the corner here, or anywhere, say halfway across the triangle, we're going to get a magenta color. And magenta is a one-half, zero, one-half. It's a sort of a dark magenta color, since it's not bright magenta. And so the reason being that pixels in this center column, they're going to be an average of one-half the color of the pixels from the left-hand side and one-half the color of the pixels from the right-hand side. So blue is represented by the triple zero, zero, one. So that has no red, no green, full-on blue. And red is represented by the triple one, zero, zero. Red is turned fully on, no green and no blue. And so the middle one colors, the average of these things are one half, zero, one half. And then the colors vary smoothly 
on the pixels throughout the triangle. And the way this works is that when the fragment shader is run on a pixel, it gets the appropriate smoothed color. So this is the default rendering mode. Next I want to talk about flat colors. So now we're going to talk about flat shading. So flat shading takes the color of one corner, one vertex of the triangle, and applies the color to the whole triangle. So the color of, in fact, the last vertex is used throughout the triangle. So how this works in the code here is instead of saying out vec3 the color, we instead say flat out vec3 the color. And we have to have a corresponding change here to say flat in vec3 the color. So the only change we made to the programs was right here and right here. And that was to put the modifier flat on the declaration of the variable the color. It's still an out color from the vertex shader and in color, in variable to the fragment shader. And then what happens now is that in fact every pixel in the triangle gets the same color. In this particular example, the two triangles were, because it was in triangle mode, triangle strip mode, the triangles were V0, V1, V2, and then V1, V2, V3. And in this case, the last two vertices, the last vertices, V2 and V3, are both red. So these are both red. And so what happens then is every pixel in the triangle, even the ones off at the very end, is rendered as a red pixel. So every pixel is rendered red in this example. So it's usually the last vertex it is possible to change this. There's a G OpenGL command, GL provoking vertex. Let me get it up here. GL provoking vertex. And this command can be used to change it to be the first. That's P R O V O. This command can be used to change it to be the first vertex in each triangle that sets the color for the whole triangle. So that's the end of this presentation. Thank you.